Page, Assassin Renesto. Renesto's got his eyes on the gold tonight. He's going after that belt of boogies. Thought it'd be interesting. My name's Sly. Here's Jingles. Hi, everybody. Tim Renesto, indeed a very dangerous individual. And it's a different kind of danger than you usually get. It's not because he's a big guy or because he can bench press a small car or anything Because he's like downright that. psycho. It's because of his mind. Because he's willing to do anything. But he's in there with a guy who's almost as brutal and creative with the boogie woogie boy, Gary Valiant. And Valiant right now in charge of the match. Few strong punches right to the forehead of Renesto. Renesto bails out to the floor. Gonna give him a little bit of a breather. Boogie ain't gonna let him have none of it though. Goes out there, grabs him by the hair, and goes right to work right out on the floor. Tim Renesto getting knocked around quite a bit early out in this matchup. Boogie Woogie Boy, and he don't take nothing off nobody. He never backs down. Renesto in that corner using the ref as a shield. Boogie basically just telling the ref, hey, I'll knock you out of the way if you don't move. I think the ref was trying to explain to him that Renesto was holding him. He couldn't move if he wanted to. Renesto used that to buy him some time to recover a bit from the early assault by Gary Valiant. Now the two men playing a little cat and mouse, locking up Boogie Woogie immediately going into a wrist lock. Putting the extra twist on it, going up to the second turnbuckle now. Up to the top is Boogie Woogie. Walking the ropes, doing it old school. Now a kick to the ribs as well. And another one, not letting Tim Renesto get back up. Not giving him any time to recover. Taking the arm to the outside, draping it across the top. Boogie Woogie's 225 pounds going straight down, taking Tim Renesto's arm with it. Boogie taking his time, getting back up in the ring. Renesto backing in that corner once again, calling for a bit of a timeout. Renesto now wasn't quite prepared for the intensity, I don't think, of the Boogie Woogie Boy. He's beat up Gary Valiant a few times on occasion. He's taken the leg out a couple of weeks ago, done various things. Now Boogie Woogie's doing his best to take that arm out. Boogie working on the arm of Tim Renesto, slowly taking his time, basically picking him apart a little bit. Irish whip reversed by Renesto, sends Boogie right into that turnbuckle. And right there, that can turn it right around. All the damage Boogie Woogie did to Tim Renesto's arm, he just got back even more on his own shoulder. Boogie out there on that floor at the moment, Renesto climbing up on the ropes. Renesto going up to the top. Boogie Woogie on the floor, unusual here. Renesto down with an ax handle from the top to the floor. That move right there sort of surprised everybody in the building. Without, without there being any mats or anything on the outside, that's a dangerous, dangerous maneuver. No like we said earlier, that. though, yeah. Ren Renesto's not all there sometimes. So, you know, he doesn't, I don't think he thinks about what he could do to himself, just about what he could do to someone else. Pretty much. Renesto, the veteran, he's had thousands of matches throughout his career. He'll do hardcore, he'll high fly a bit, he can do almost anything. Boogie done reached up under the ring and got a ladder. Charges into Renesto, misses, hits the turnbuckle. Ladder falls dangerously close to the crowd. Like we said, these two just don't care. I think we knew going in this was gonna be a wild brawl. Punching and kicking on the outside is the Boogie Woogie Boy, Gary Valiant. I think the referee's lost control of this match already. He's not calling for the bell. He's not give, putting it to an end. These two are still fighting on the outside. Boogie comes charging in, catches Renesto, squeezes him between that turnbuckle and his chest. Stinger splash sandwich Renesto right into that steel. Both men back into the ring now. Oh. Irish Our, Smith <laughs> off the ropes. Tim Renesto saw it coming, catches the Boogie Woogie Boy with a DDT. Rolls him over, goes for the pin. May have it here, one, two, only a two count. Boogie managed to get his shoulder up at the very, very last second, last nanosecond, I guess you could say it was. Boogie holding his head, obviously in pain from that move. Tim Ernesto now looks like he's a little more satisfied. He's got Boogie where he wants him. Now laying in the kicks and choking the man as well. Choking the life out of the Boogie Woogie boy, Gary Valiant. Ernesto going to work on him. 
basically just cutting the air off, making this man work for his pay tonight, I guess you could say. Nashville's got his eyes, like we said, on that belt. May get it at this rate. How serious is he? Oh, he took off the Boogie Woogie Boys bandana. That's not something you want to do if you don't want him to be angry. Bose line takes him down. Now choking him again on the opposite side of the ring. Ripley laying in the count. Pushing him back up, picking him back up, excuse me. Brops him back in the ropes. Iris whipping the opposite side. Ducks the clothesline, Boogie does. Goes for a splash, misses it, goes all the way out to the floor. Boogie Woogie tumbling all the way to the cold, hard concrete. Tim Ernesto just taking a breather now in the ring, adjusting his gear a bit, enjoying his rest while he's got it. Boogie Woogie's still laying on the floor, not moving very much from what I can see from my vantage point here. Tim Ernesto laying in a kick. He's too back on the outside now. There's been a lot of brawling in this match. Ooh, knocks him right down. I had the thud there. Of Gary Valiant's body slamming into the concrete floor from that punch. Ernesto just drops that knee once again across the head of Boogie out there. Once again, like I said, the referee, referee is finally counting out here. Up to a two count, telling these men to get back in the ring. He's given a little bit of leeway so far, Jingus. He's gonna let these two men decide for themselves, I guess, who's gonna win this title. I guess. Referee's still counting. Boogie Woogie lying almost motionless. Tim Ernesto now raking the man's eyes. Referee telling him to get off of there. Tim Ernesto rolls in, breaks the count. Grabs Boogie by the head, drags him up on the apron. Slowly but surely not carrying him into the ring, though. Head butts him, drops him right back down. Boogie back down to the apron. Tim Ernesto back to the choke. These men hate each other. There is no love lost here whatsoever. They'll do anything it takes for either Tim Ernesto to gain the title or Boogie Woogie to retain it. Choking him once again. Boogie kicking and thrashing, can't get out of it. He's been beaten to, to a pulp here. Referee getting onto him for a little bit of a choke. I don't think Ernesto cares. He just wants to beat the crap out of Boogie. Boogie catches him by surprise, charges in. Catches nothing but a turnbuckle for his actions, though. Boogie surprised me, and Tim Ernesto surprised me more. Dropkick there. Boogie Woogie, he's been busted open in the mouth, looks like, where he went right into that turnbuckle. Tim Ernesto now choking him. Got him in a modified tree of woe here. Referee counting once again up to a three count. Ernesto finally releases it. Boogie drops back out to the floor. He's on his feet this time, however. Walking around, I guess he's trying to put a little space between him and Ernesto. Oh. And that'll put some space between them. I heard that shot. Right to the mouth of Tim Ernesto. Boogie Woogie obviously not happy about being busted open here. Tasting his own blood in his mouth. And he gets thrown into the turnbuckle. Ooh, God, you can see that. Knocked down onto the floor once again. This is a brutal, brutal matchup. Yes, it is, and once again, the referee, he's letting this match continue. He's letting these two men fight it out. You know, there's been so much bad blood, no, no pun about the blood that's on the face of Boogie there, but there's been so much bad blood between these two in the past, and the referee's just letting them fight it out, and this match is out of control. It really is out of control. Tim Ernesto looks like he might have busted Boogie Woogie open up near the eye as well. Blood on the face of Gary Valiant, and he caught him. Gary Valiant with a mule kick straight back into the granular region of Tim Ernesto. Yeah, he may look like he's out of it, but he had enough wits about him, I guess you could say, to catch Ernesto right in the lower abdomen region, I guess you could say. And lower abdomen. However, Ernesto's back up on his feet. It's Boogie. got him a chair setting it up. Do I have him a seat or what up there? Boogie looking like he's a little woozy from blood loss here. Hey, who can blame him? He's wearing the crimson mask right now. Tim Ernesto grabbing the security guard. Goes to work on Boogie. Slowly but surely, both men back up in the ring. Setting up that chair. Tim Ernesto does like to do a drop toe hold into a chair on occasion. And he nails Boogie Woogie with it here. Boogie goes face first right into that chair. Ernesto slowly getting back up. Taking his time, brushing the hair back out of his eyes, catching his breath. Finally goes for a pin. Only a two count. 
Bodhi Woogie somehow still in this, despite being mauled all across the face. He slammed into that chair. Tim Ernesto going back to that choke. Making sure if the blood loss doesn't knock out Boogie, that the choke will, I guess. Referee did count, finally got him to break it up. Both men still going at it in the ring. Sends him into that turnbuckle. Sends him into it very hard. Tim Ernesto now. Oh, gets a chair kicked back into him. Boogie Woogie. Boogie's Boogie. acting like he's setting him up. Super kick into the chair. Tim Ernesto dazed by the first one. Knocked out, looks like, by the second one. Both these men are out of their minds right now, I, I'd say. Both of them are half out of it. Boogie rolls over, gets an arm on him. Tim oh. Ernesto, however, still in this fight, still in the game, gets the shoulder up. This could still be anybody's match here. Ernesto and Boogie both on their knees. Ernesto punching the daylights, I guess you could say, out of Boogie. Boogie not fighting back at all. Finally blocks it, catches Ernesto. Hard right hand, caught Tim Ernesto right in the face. And another one. And Tim Ernesto taking a shortcut, goes to the eyes. Both these men finally getting back up on their feet. Boogie's got this chair setting it up in the ropes. Setting the chair up in the turnbuckle. Looks like he's gonna try to ram Tim Ernesto into it head first. Rocking him with a punch in the corner. It's reversed by Renesto, and Boogie's the one that gets the chair backfired on Boogie. Gary Valiant looks like down for the count. Tim Ernesto dragging him over to the center of the ring, making the cover, hooking the leg, referee down the count. One, two, but no, Boogie Woogie somehow kicks out of it. Only a two count. Somehow. Boogie managed to kick out of this. Showing that tenacity, that fighting spirit, why he is the USWO heavyweight champion. Tim Ernesto, however, not done yet, not by a long shot, ramming Boogie's head into the turnbuckle. Just got word from our camera people here at the station, told us we just got two minutes left on our television time. I'm not sure if that's two minutes of tape left on the camera film in the match or two minutes of time left for the show, but either way, if this match doesn't end in a hurry, we may be in a bad situation. Yeah. Tim Ernesto now looking to end this match in a hurry, getting that chair out once again, setting it up. Could be going for another drop toe, hold on to it. If he hits this again, no. Setting it up, looking for a launching pad here. Comes Ernesto. running in. Oh! And just drops himself. Nuts first across the turnbuckle. Both men are down right in the middle of the ring. Nobody's making any sign to get up. This doesn't bode well for our television time. Boogie Woogie making his way back up to his feet. Slowly but surely, Tim Ernesto showing some signs of life as well. Boogie's back up. He's landing in them ropes. Ernesto finally back up on his feet. Comes charging in, Boogie catches him right in the gut with a punch. Almost trying to take time to separate himself from Renesto. Starts going to work with him, kicks. He's going to work. He's going to work and getting the job done. Tear across the head of Tim Renesto. He's going down, he's not going for the pin, he's going with the punches. Continuously punching Renesto in the head. Finally goes for the pin. Only a two count. Renesto managed to fight his way out of it. Tim Renesto, after taking that furious barrage of strikes in the chair to the head, still somehow manages to get the shoulder up right before the count. Oh! Tim All Renesto three men back. down now. Referee's down. Renesto's down. Boogie's down. Referee ate an elbow to the face. And here comes another referee. And Ernesto. it looks like we're out of time. <laughs> we're out of time. We're going to have to hopefully show you the end of this next week or maybe later on in the show.